Welcome. In part two, we're going to add a second domain that we can manage using the single GAM install that we did in the previous episode. To start with, we need to open up the GAM CFG folder. Opening up this folder presents us with our client's secret, our OAuth 2, and our OAuth 2 service JSON files that were created from our previous install. Next, we want to create a folder that represents the second domain we're going to use this in. Give that folder a name, and then inside it, we're going to have to end up with something very similar, the client secret, oauth2.service.json, and the oauth2.txt. Now, before we do this, we need to make a decision. One of the decisions we need to make is that, are we using the same project that we used when we created the other domain? For myself, the answer is yes, since I am the only one managing both of these domains. If you had a second domain and you had other domain admins administering it, then you perhaps might want to create a separate project altogether. The next critical piece about projects is that they can be shared among customer IDs. Now, while I don't have the current customer ID for the domain I'm using, the process in this video will show you how to obtain it. Because we are going to share the project between my two domains, I'm going to make a copy of oauth2service.json and clientsecret.json. I'm going to copy those, and I'm going to put them into the wolf folder. Just like we did in the last domain, make sure your browser is open using the super admin account. Go into your console, open security, PI reference, and once again, make sure this is enabled on your other domain. Next, we go back to our GAM CFG and we want to edit our GAM.CFG file. Remember, don't use Notepad, but use Notepad++. Right click the file, edit with Notepad++. And here, notice it has a default name. We're going to add our other domain in here. Just like the folder, keep things simple and use lowercase. Square bracket, wolf, square bracket. Next line, you want to put in config underscore dir space equals space wolf, lowercase. Because we don't know the customer ID for this domain yet, we put in customer underscore ID space equals space my underscore customer. We do know the fully qualified domain name. Domain space equals space the domain that we're doing. Now if we had other domains that we were doing, we would do the exact same thing here using what we did for Wolf. We would also have to create additional folders inside our GAM CFG folder for each domain. Save the file and close it. Now what we want to do is head back to our command prompt. Go to our GAM work folder. Type the command gam config verify. This will show us where we're currently working in. Scroll to the top. We're working in the default section. And the default section was the domain that we set up the other day. Now, if we were to say gam select wolf verify, and we scroll through this list, we would see the information that we referenced in the wolf section, which was the domain name and customer underscore ID was my underscore customer. Now, because we're setting up the wolf domain, you don't want to say gam select wolf all the time. So we say gam select wolf save. Now we are saying, until I tell you otherwise, we are talking wolf here. Now that we have everything sort of set up, our next step is to create that third file, oauth2 text. To do that, back in the command prompt, type gam oauth create. All these have been started, which is what we want. Click C to continue. Type in your super admin account for the domain. Mine is for the wolf domain. As you can see, there's the project. This project was the project we used in the original install. You will have to allow all the permissions right to the very end. You'll see quite a few of these. Once finishing all the allows, 
go back to our DOS prompt window and it says authentication successful and the OAuth2 file has been created. Next we want to type GAM info domain so we can get our customer ID. GAM info domain and once we have the customer ID we now want to put that back into the other file. We can do that from a command prompt. First I want to make sure that I'm editing the right section. So what I want to do is type in GAM config verify. Once I do that, it'll return. I scroll to the top. I can see that I'm in the section wolf. So that's where I want to be. Now what we want to do is grab the customer ID for wolf. Copy that. And then the command we use next is gam space config space customer underscore ID space input your ID number space save. Now we're on to one of our last steps and that's to do the check service account. Gam user pick anyone in the domain just has to be a valid email address. Check service account one word. We should see a whole bunch of fails. Now what we have to do is we take this URL Copy it. And if, and if it works, it will take us to the right place. And if it doesn't, we'll have to do what we did last time. And it didn't. So the proper place to go, or where we thought it should take us, security. Advanced settings. Manage APIs. Once we're in here, we have the client name we have to put in, and then we have to put in the scopes. Go back to our command prompt. Client name is right here. Copy that. Back over here. Paste it. Go back to your command prompt window. Next one we need is all these scopes here. Copy those, go back, paste them, and authorize. Settings have been saved, and that's it. We should be good to go for our second domain. So, here are a few GAM commands to stay familiar with. As always, remember to go to the GAM form to search out answers or to ask new questions. I hope you found this video informative.